Hello everyone, this is Just a Dad. I'm going to do a detailed comparison on Hamilton Beach's Flex Brew. They've got two types of Flex Brews out now. This is their older one, and this is their brand new one, April 2021. They just came out with it. So right now, the new one is $80. I was only able to find it at Walmart.com. And this one is their older one. It's still around $100. Now these things look very similar. Their basic concept is the same. You've got a coffee maker on one side and kind of a single serve K-cup on one side. Coffee maker and a single serve K-cup. Now the control panels are where things get different. So on this control, this is their older one. Now I know some of the older flex brews, this control panel was kind of a People didn't like it because it is kind of hard to see sometimes. I know the newer ones that they made of these, the control panel is easier to see, but this one is a little tricky. But you've got the same principle. So you've got a coffee pot side or a single serve side. You've got to select which one you're going to do. Over here, they've kind of taken out the, that big LCD display and the, you've got these big buttons. You've got the coffee pot side and the K-cup side with a little light beside it. And it's on steady. It's not blinking in the in real life you know this display it, it shows the time I don't know that I like that the best maybe it's more reliable but it, it, it's it works I would prefer something a little backlit maybe that looked a little nicer both of these are programmable so I can program just the coffee maker side to brew me a pot of coffee in the morning and same with the coffee maker on this side they both come with this exact same reusable uh, coffee filter so on the K-cup side, you've got this thing is what is what for is for the K-cups. You put the K-cups in here, it punctures the hole in the bottom, and you've got the needle on top. When you want to do your own coffee grounds, you got to use this for the single serve side. Again, you got to put two tablespoons of coffee grounds in there, close the lid, and then you can put it in here, close the lid, and you can do a single serve on the coffee maker side or on the K-cup side. Same with this. Now one of the most annoying things on this one is this thing keeps falling down on me. See how, yeah. It's kind of hit my hand a few times and you know, there is a sharp needle up there so I don't necessarily like that. But anyway, this has the exact same thing that goes there and you can do your own coffee grounds on the single serve side. They did change things up. So on this one's got an extra like funnel basket. This one is formed like that, but it's not removable. So just a little different. The K-cup fits in there and the K-cup holder fits in there like that. Now let's get to the coffee maker side. Over here, we've got a basket style um, filter basket over here. We've got the we've got a different style of filter basket. I want to see if they're the exact same size. So they do look to be. So let's see. Is one yeah one is taller, one is taller. So the older one, which is right here, is taller. Now in my detailed review, I didn't get any coffee grounds going over the filter, but this one it did come a little close, but. They both got the same style plunger. You know, this one's a little squishy. This one's a little harder. So as, as, as much as you would like to think these are almost identical the same, they really changed a lot of things up. So over here, the brew head is in the, uh, in the lid. Over here, the brew head is separate. And you've got this big lid. Now, one of the most noticeable things is this one is taller. This one's 23 inches tall with the lid. That one's about 21. Neither one fit underneath a kitchen cabinet. This one's got a big opening. It does have a place for a filter down there. Big opening for the water. That's got an extra big opening for the water and it does have a filter. You can put a filter in that hole. Neither one of them come with a carbon filter. Now, one of the things I like about this one, it has a, a water sight glass that lets you know how much water you've put in. This one doesn't have a sight glass. It's got these steps. See the steps here? And I don't necessarily like those. I would rather have a, a sight glass on the side. So next thing, one of the big differences on the K-cup side is this one, the newer one, has a water reservoir. 
That is very, very nice. I love the little water reservoir. This is only for the single serve side. This one does not have a water reservoir. It, it does, but you have to put the water in each time you do a brew. So when I want to do an eight ounce brew on this one, I've got to put in exactly eight ounces, hit the start button, and then it'll brew whatever water I put in here. So you get used to it after time, but this one is so much nicer because it's got a 40 ounce maximum. So I can do several eight ounce cups, 10 ounce cups, but that's also going to limit me. So over here, I can brew anywhere from six ounces to 14 ounces. This one, I don't have that many options. I've got to select a size. So when I've got it on the K-cup side, I now have to select eight, 10, or 14. Those are my only options. So you lose some options with the reservoir. Over here, I can brew a six ounce. If I put just six ounces of water in here, I'll brew a six ounce coffee through that, through that K-cup. Eight ounce, 10 ounce, 12 ounce, 14 ounce. Again, this one has 14 ounce, but. So that's gonna be one of the major, major differences on the K-cup side is water reservoir with less options, no water reservoir with more options. They both have this little storage area underneath the K-cup. This is where you store this. Same with this, this has got like a storage area and you can put a taller, um, they both accommodate a travel mug. You know, this one does look like it's a little taller. So I have detailed reviews on both of these coffee makers. Check those videos out. This is gonna be just kind of a, a general comparison. I'm not gonna go into great details about setting the clock and, and the lay brew and all of that, but I also have descale videos on each one of these, how to descale. I also have videos on how to clean the needles. Getting back to the needles, so the needles all look the same. You've got this needle up here. Again, you've got that needle that looks the same and that looks the same. Let's go around to the back. Again, a water sight glass. They both have cord storage. They both have the same two plug, two prong cord, about two feet long. Again, this one's got a water reservoir. I like the looks of this one with the two tone. This one's kind of an all black look. Now let's get to the coffee pot side. The coffee pots are different. Um, both of them are very good. This is kind of Hamilton Beach's older coffee pot. And this is their, looks like their newer design. They both have warming plates that keep your coffee warm after you're done brewing a pot of coffee. And they both have auto shut off after you're done brewing a pot of coffee. It will shut off the warming plate after two hours. So footprint wise, this one is just a little bit smaller than this one, but not by much. I think that's about it. Um, you do have, like I said, programmable. You've got strength. I've got bold and I've got over here, I can do strength, bold, bold and regular. I just don't have a cup size over here. I've got a, I select the cup size by how much water I put in. So that's a button you don't have on this one. And again, they're, they're, I don't know the longevity of this one. Since this one is so new, I hope they improved because there's several videos online about these things breaking down and not lasting very long. And I've had a lot of viewers leave comments about this one. The longevity is just not quite there. So maybe they improved some things internally to make the coffee maker last a, long, a lot longer. Okay, so let's brew a cake up. Again, this one, it stays up. It's got like a detent. <laughs> you wouldn't think that'd be important, but it actually kind of is. Then you press it down. Okay, this one, it just needs a little bit of a detent. Boy, you just barely touch it. Put your cake up in. You're just gonna press it down, snap it down till it snaps. Okay, we're gonna make sure I'm on single serve side. I'm on single serve side. I'm gonna select eight ounce. That's how I brew my coffees. Now with this one again, remember I've gotta, I gotta pour in the eight ounces. So I gotta do a little bit of work ahead of time. Where this one just has a, I just gotta make sure the water reservoir's got water in it. So I'm just gonna pour my eight ounces in. Now it doesn't start brewing or anything. I gotta press the brew button. 
and I can see I've got uh, maybe just a, a little bit more than eight ounces. Okay, so let's press the brew button. I've got it on single serve. Strength is regular. And brew. This one I hear a pump running right away. This one's, so this one starts brewing right away. So this one hasn't even started brewing yet. It's got to heat the water up first. This one is already brewing. It's taking water from the reservoir. This one also has a count timer. So it tells you how many ounces it's brewed already. That's going to count up to eight. You know, there's no such thing as that on this. Again, this one's not even started yet. It's boiling the water. Once it gets it, once it gets the water hot enough, then it shoots it all through the cake up. And the water coming out, it's about 186, 190. So this one's gonna be a lot faster. The coffee pot side, they're they're almost the same. Okay, so this one's finishing up. It's got eight on the display. And it's not very loud. This one gets really loud as it's boiling that water. Okay, so this one, the time that this one stopped, this one starts. Mm, maybe just a little bit colder, not much. Yeah, 190, exact same, exact, I saw 190, yeah. Exact same temperature of being brewed. This one's not extremely loud. Once it gets that water boiled, or heat enough, then it runs it through it there pretty quick. This one's more of a slow, steady running it through the K-cup. Okay, so let's see how they did. That one did pretty good. Yeah, they both look exactly the same. No coffee grounds. They both do a good job. I've done taste tests. These both taste. To me, this one might taste a little bit better on the K-Cup side. So one thing worth mentioning, and I'm not sure what's going on, but when this side does a K-Cup, you get a little bit of steam over here. And I'm not sure why, if it's coming out the brew head or what. I'm not doing a coffee pot side. Over here, when I do the K-Cup side, I don't get anything. It's like this one, they, they these are two individual systems. Over here, I'm not sure what's going on. Why I would get the steam, and this is kind of hot back down in here, when I do the K-Cup side. But again, I don't know exactly what's going on, but that is a difference between the two. Okay, so let's brew a pot of coffee. I'm not going to do the full 12 cups. I'm going to do a 6 cup. I'm going to do a half a pot. So I've got both of them filled up to the six line with water. I've got six tablespoons. Again, this they both take a basket style eight to twelve cup coffee filter. I've got and they both take uh, one tablespoon per serving of cup. So I've got six tablespoons in each one. Let's pour the water in. This one's got a nice opening. You got to kind of angle it over here, and the coffee pot pours nice. This one's got the, one of the biggest openings for pouring water I've ever seen. Coffee pot pours really nice. If I had to pick a coffee pot, it would be this one. Close the lid. Close the lid. Select the coffee pot. Normal strength. Brew. Coffee pot. Regular strength. Brew. So again, over here, I've got the same brew light that comes on. And I've got this picture of a coffee pot. Over here, I've just got this light and this coffee pot in there, and it says heat. That means the warming plate's on. I don't have anything that says the warming plate's on, but the warming plate's on on this one too. So the coffee maker side, they both sound the same. They're not super loud, either one. 
Okay, so they both just started brewing. Let's take a sneak peek. Both look like they're doing maybe about the same job. Let's see if we can check the temperature. That water coming out is pretty, pretty hot. It's a little bit harder on this one. About the same. A little hard to do that. Oh, one thing this thing's got that this doesn't. So when it's done brewing, it's, it's coffee. It gives you a time of how long the coffee's been up there. So it starts at two hours and it works. It'll go from two, 1.5, 1.0, 0.5. It lets you know, so when it says two, it means that you've got two hours before the coffee maker shuts off. So you can kind of tell how long the coffee pot's been sitting there. If it says 1.5, then you know the coffee's been sitting there 30 minutes. This one doesn't have anything like that over here. Again, let's just take a sneak peek. There's the filter. So yeah, they both look like they're doing the same exact job with the coffee grounds. So they're both finishing up about the same time. And they both sound exactly the same towards the end of their brew. Okay, so let's pour a cup of coffee. Yeah, this one pours really nice. What temperature do we have? 160. Let's pour a cup of coffee here. What do I got? 160, yeah, both produce the same um, temperature of coffee. Let's see how they did with the coffee grounds. Oh, this one looks like it does a, the brew has a few more bubbles on it. Over here, not quite. So both of these are very similar, but they do have some major differences. I do like the improvements they've done over here. You know, I think they simplified the control panel because they were having problems with this control panel. They've done something internally different with the heating system. I think they were having problems with this one over here. So let's hope that they've improved this one. Um, this one definitely brewed a faster K-cup. I love the water reservoir. Coffee maker side, it seems uh, exactly the same. And it's kind of hard to believe. So this one's a little hard to find right now. It's brand new. It's $80 in the, in the older one. Now this one comes in several different um, colors and styles. It's all exactly the same except they change color of this and that. So those can look pretty stylish. These have been around a while and they are, there's a lot, they sold a lot of these. Again, check out my detailed video on on both of these, I've got D-Scale, Clean Needles, I've got Coffee Taste Test on my YouTube page. Thanks everybody for your support. And again, I give them both my Just a Dad sticker seal of approval. But definitely with this comparison, I'm going to go with the newer one. Um, it just has a lot more functionality to it. Thanks everybody for watching. And if you could, please like and subscribe.